So what do we have today? Well, obviously, you saw the video title. So we have CK1 today. This is a classic. This came out in, uh, oh, Lord. Let me see. I got the, I got everything pulled up right here. Probably should have figured that out before I started this review, huh? 94. 1994. This is like, actually, before I, I even get into the review, I wanted to do a quick, I wanted to, let me move this mouse. I wanted to talk really quick about, like, uh, smells and scents and, and like emotional connections we have to them or memories that we have associated with these scents because it's a real thing um, like a slight sto quick story um, I was at my friend's house one time we were rehearsing and used his bathroom and went to go wash my hands and his soap smelled like really really nice and, and like boom it just put me back at a time where I was at used to go to my uncle had a camp when I was a kid and I used to go there and um, it just memories flooded you know I was just hit with it because he had like a cleaner or something that smelled similar to the soap it was like a bluebell flower scent um, ended up getting laundry detergent with that scent you know kind of silly but it just you know it just made me think of that so much you know and uh, I just wanted to say that because this scent uh, CK1 just makes you think of like the 90s. It makes you think of summertime, um, but really strongly of the 90s. Great times in the 90s. Um, this is a spring summer scent, really good in the summer. Um, this is one of the first big unisex scents and it is unisex through and through. I mean, they really, it really is a great unisex scent. Uh, a guy could totally wear this, a woman could pull this off, no problem. So, what you get from this basically. I got this little tiny baby bottle here. You get a lot of citrus off the top. You get like uh, like lemon and pineapple, bergamot. The mids have a lot of flowers in them, uh, like lily of the valleys in there. Um, I think jasmine is in there. And in the base, you get um, some green notes. You get musk. You get amber. You get like cedar wood. So um, it's very very light. It's very fresh. Um, it's very citrusy. Uh, it's not like it, it is very citrusy off the top, but it's not like a cleaning supply kind of thing. It's more of just like a, I have some on my wrist. It's just super, super fresh. And the fact that there is some amber, some musk in the base gives it a bit of a masculine edge to it, which keeps it from being, you know, overly uh, feminine. But with a lot of flowers in the mids and a lot of that citrusy up top, that's what makes it suitable for a woman. Um, and the amber, the musk, the cedar wood, although it lends itself to be masculine at times when you smell it, that's what, you know, um, makes it suitable for a woman. But that's what a guy could wear too because of that. Um, like I said, very light, very fresh, very fresh um, and perfect for the summer. I'm going to put a little more on. So this is um, EDT concentration, but I'll talk about that really quick. This is just like a splash bottle, but it is the actual cologne. It's not like an aftershave. Um, you know, I was thinking about actually getting like a atomizer sprayer, you know, which is probably good to have, you know, just in case. Um, but I was thinking of putting this in there just to see how it lasts when it sprays, is sprayed on my skin. Yeah, very, very wonderful smell. It is, it's a very happy scent. It's very uplifting. Um, this is one that I, I like, but I'm not super crazy about. It's winter, so I'm obviously not really wearing it too much. I've worn it to work a few times. I've been testing it here or there. Um, it, like, like, there's nothing inoffensive about it. Nobody will be offended by this scent. It's, it's very appropriate for, like, sitting on the beach or, like, a backyard cookout or really any time in the spring or summer. But it's such a light, you know, pleasing scent that you probably could wear it at any time and nobody would be offended. You could wear it on a date. You could wear it to work. Nobody's going to care. Um, it might be a little too light for some men. Like I said, the base is what gives it the masculine edge. But it is very light. And because of that, some guys might not go for this. Um, and, and at the same time, due to the fact that there is that masculine base really to it um i feel like maybe some women won't particularly care for it but um this is one where i i like it it's okay but i like it more on other people uh other people's skin than than i do i don't like it on myself as much 
Um, I would really like to smell this on a woman. Uh, like, like this, I think this is a scent that I would find really attractive on a woman, uh, or something because of there's, it's very pleasing, but there's that musk in there and that gives it something that I'm like, mm, I, I think I would like, you know, like that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm being weird, but, uh, it gives it like a, I dare say like a animalistic quality almost if it's being used as a perfume. It sounds weird, but it's, it's, you know, it is how it is. Um, so yeah, so you know, this is a classic 90 cent. Sure, it does smell a little bit dated in that it does definitely evoke thoughts of the 90s. It, everybody used to wear this. But, like I said, it's very simple and easy to wear. So, you know, go for it. Um, it's extremely inexpensive. And, you know, despite that, how, how cheap it is, I don't think I'm going to go pick up a bottle. Uh, like I said, I like it. It's just not something I'm going to be probably wearing a lot in the summer. So you can get like a three or four ounce bottle for like $23, $24. You could probably get a 6.7 ounce bottle for like 30 bucks. 6.7 ounces, huge. That's, it's a lot of juice. So, um, despite that, I still don't think I'm going to pick that up. Although I'm kind of crazy, so maybe I will, but, um, I'd like to put this in a atomizer just to you know, test it. And th this, this amount of juice left over is probably all I'm going to need for myself. Um, so let's talk about like projection. Um, projection is okay. Um, but it fades quickly. Um, so, you know, you'll have that nice scent bubble at first, but that will dry down really quick. Longevity is very bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awful. In fact, um, I would say that this is closer to like an EDC concentration definitely more like an EDC concentration, even though they say it's an EDT, um, it does not last. So let's be generous. I would say I put it on at six, right? 6 PM went to work at about seven fifteen, seven twenty. by like eight thirty, maybe nine. Let's be generous. It was pretty much gone. That's three hours. That's awful. That's the downside. Now it's cheap as hell. So you can just reapply and in the summer, it will probably last a little bit longer on your skin, but uh, it does not perform well. So, you know, that's the unfortunate part of this one. It's a really, you know, happy, great scent, but it just doesn't last very long. Um, it maybe it, it probably did back in the 90s, but they re probably reformulated the hell out of this thing. So that's, that's how it is. But um, this is another one like Cool Water where it's been done to death, but I just, I had to... I had to make a review on it. I had to just put my two cents in with this one because it's a classic, you know. Um, and although I don't think I'm going to go pick up a bottle, like I said, you probably are going to want to. Uh, if you need something in the summer, uh, if, you know, it, it, you can't go wrong. And, and I will say, sometimes I do smell this and, you know, I am reminded um, of, like, why I like it. And I should say quick, there is nutmeg in the midst of this. So um, when I'm smelling this, you do get that. You get almost a, like a very slight spicy kind of uh, sp spice smell. It's all very well balanced. It's all very fresh. So yeah, sometimes I do I am reminded of the smell of this, and I'm, I'm kind of like, I might want to wear CK1 today. That's a nice scent, um, but it's not like my go-to stuff. Anyways, that's all I had to say with this one. I just had to get that out there. Um, we'll have some more stuff coming. Uh, first impressions, like we're going to do Sauvage, Eau de Parfum. Um, there's a Lamal clone. Not really, but... Um, and then uh, what else do I have coming? Uh, the infamous gray flannel. That's that's coming. Uh, some other stuff. Uh, I'd like to do Club de Nuit Intense for Men, which is like an Aventus clone. Pardon me. So I got more stuff coming. That'll be fun. Um, if you got suggestions for like stuff you think I would like or you want me to smell, please let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.